Hey everyone! Before diving into today's video, I want to highlight a few things that can negatively affect your ping, jitter, and internet speed. These issues aren't something you can fully fix by just optimizing your PC or network adapter. But don't worry, today we'll discuss how to truly address them without relying on any snake oil tweaks. Quick reminder, always create a restore point before attempting any new tweaks. This ensures you can easily revert to your previous settings if needed. Let's get started. Number one, never use a Wi-Fi connection if you're gaming competitively. Wireless connections can introduce high ping, jitter, and packet loss. Nobody wants to get wrecked by little Timmy on Fortnite, right? So switch to a wired connection, AKA an ethernet cable. Personally, I use a 30 meter flat ethernet cable since my router is upstairs. You can grab one on Amazon for about 10 pounds or even cheaper if you don't need that length. Remember, ethernet cables can only be up to 100 meters long before the signal starts degrading. Number three. Now, let's talk about buffer bloat. If you're not familiar with it, buffer bloat is a latency increase that occurs when you're downloading or uploading something online. This can cause your ping to skyrocket to 200 or more. To check your buffer bloat, search for waveform buffer bloat test on Google Click Start Test and wait for the results. If they're not looking great, here's how to fix it. Open the search menu, type CMD, find command prompt and run it as an administrator. Copy and paste the command I've included in the video description. This reduces buffer bloat, but also limits bandwidth as a trade-off. Alternatively, consider buying a router with SQM, Smart Q Management before dropping 369 pounds on a fancy looking router, check out the Amazon Eero Pro 6 or newer. It has a reliable feature called Optimize for Conferencing and Gaming, recently renamed SQM. Enable SQM and say goodbye to buffer bloat. All the information I am sharing with you is also given in the description. Number three, let's focus on enabling fast datagram sending for UDP traffic. This can reduce packet loss and improve hit registration in shooter games. Here's how. Open the search menu, type regedit, and run it as administrator. Copy the path from the video description and paste it into the registry editor's search bar. Then press enter. Right click on an empty space, select new, then doored, and name it fast send datagram threshold. Double click the entry, set the value to 64,000 and click OK. Exit the registry editor. Number six, let's adjust a few network settings in the control panel. Open the search menu, type control panel and go to network and internet. Then network and sharing center. Click Ethernet, then Properties.
Untick everything except QoS packet scheduler and internet protocol version 4, then click OK. Next, go to Configure, then Power Management, and untick both boxes to disable power saving features on your network card. In the Advanced tab, disable all offloading features, interrupt moderation, and flow control for better performance. If you have an older processor, keep offloading enabled and skip this step. Once you've applied all these tweaks, click OK to save your settings. You're good to go. Thanks for watching. You're a legend if you made it to the end. If you learned something new, don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth tutorials and free optimizations. Got questions or feel I missed something? Drop a comment below and I'll personally reply to help you out. See you there.